My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I am fantastic. Today I'm viewing something very, very special. Tom Ford Black Orchid. £47 for 30ml and £92 for 100ml. The top notes are Jasmine Gardenia, Blackcurrant, Lemon and Bergamot, Mandarin. Our notes are Orchid, Spicy Notes, Fruit Notes, Lotus, Base Notes of Vertiver, Patchouli, Sandalwood, Incense, Amber, Chocolate and Vanilla. Now I actually bought a little bottle because this is a very special fragrance to me. So it's going to be a little bit of good um, memory road. So do we have our little fragrance bottles? Do we have our samples? Are we engaged with our high self? Let's get testing. So this I love. This gives me, always gives me mass tinglings. I consider this a fantastic, perfect formulation. And this inspired me so much that this is the thing that pushed me from doing what I considered as like a hobby, which was years and years of just sort of blending and putting things together and making accords into actually making my first few fragrances because I was really fed up of smelling this on lots of people. And that is the only downside of it. I consider this a masterpiece. I know that it, there was nothing like this before and I think from what I've heard, this was reformulated, it used to be much, much stronger, and then all the IFA regulations came in and it became a lot sort of a tamer beast of what it was, which is such a shame. So this is built primarily on a Isa e Super backbone, and that you can smell if you work with a lot of these aroma chemicals, you can just smell Isa e Super straight off. This is a lot of aroma chemical wood notes blended around it. So this is primarily a wood based formulation with things twisted around it. It feels sort of like a twisted formulation. I think this is just so excellently done. I think it's just telling a story. As it goes down, the ice we see about bone. Every single component in this was chosen. So this is not something which was, we wanted this fragrance and it sort of bashed together. This is a lot of skill involved in this development time i'd imagine was very long so you can hear what the notes are from lots of other reviews but i'm going to tell you things which you don't know which is sort of uh, more interesting i think than uh that was one of the comments which i read that they aren't the notes that are listed well if you want to know what notes are lifted listed please go to another review because they'll tell you what's listed so we go through this is primarily i would say a wood and patchouli based fragrance so there was massive amounts of patchouli Everybody knows that. But it's, I love patchouli. This thing is why I absolutely love it. Very dominant patchouli fragrances are gorgeous. Patchouli can give a darkness and a broodingness to it. This has some vanilla compounds, deeper chocolate feel combined with cumarin. It's just so beautifully done. Exquisite, beautiful perfume. As you can tell, I'm getting very blissed out. My hands are going crazy. Little dancing hands. It means I like it. Another comment which I found very interesting, which I did not notice, was that uh, when I really like something, my hands become very soft, and when I don't like something, my hands become very hard. It's so that I did not know as well. The uh, benzoyl notes twisting around, giving an oriental feel. Now this has some lovely peach powder hides flickering through this with neroli compounds, but not neroli. That is a sort of core, the sweetness that you're getting is from uh, aroma chemicals giving sweetness and light. For me, this always sort of smelt sort of slightly jammy. I love um, fragrances like that. Jammy sort of sweetness juxtaposed against sort of heavy wood fragrances. The eugenols and us eugenols give a spice to the base of it. The cinnamonates, Give a slight, it, it sort of encourage the spiciness of this and sort of give an increase the sort of spice and wood base to it. It is so beautiful. Now, interestingly, orchids don't have a smell. When you create an orchid accord, you uh, have to sort of think what an orchid accord. And for me, this orchid accord feels so sort of slightly white and purple and blue. That's the sort of orchid feel I'd get from that. That's sort of how my brain is interpreting the notes pushed together. This is a smoothness to it. It's just so beautifully done. The musk are exquisitely chosen just to support this. So we're in clean oriental musks in this. And at the base of it, we have maybe some lemon or eucalyptus or something like that. It's just a smash through the base. It is so beautiful. On to my final thoughts. I love this very, 
very much. It's a very special formulation for me. This was this fragrance really propelled me forward to really take that step and really takes it a little bit more seriously. And I started really buying in uh, books on perfume, really learning everything that I could about this, really doing lots and lots and lots of experiments to work out where I wanted to go. It's technically, I think it's excellent because it's four out of four. The price, I think, is phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal for, for the skill. This is an incredibly complex formulation because you're getting a story that's been told. This, I think, is beautiful, so I, I give it a two out of two for the price. I think it's phenomenal. 47 pounds for 30 mil. Beautiful. I would have loved to have smelled the original one and smelled it stronger, I do have to say. That, I think, would have been excellent. Personally, as you can tell, I love it, and I'm gonna mark it for this, my friends. I'm gonna mark a 10 out of 10. I think it is excellent, and it is ticking everything, and I think it is just superb, excellent formulation. This, to me, still is projecting beautifully. The longevity is beautiful. Everything about it is beautiful. I think it's very, very unisex, and I think it's very, very sexy. The occasion, I don't think this is particularly uh, suitable for sort of an office. Frankly, it's not that I know what people in offices wear, but sort of, I think it's suitable for, because the patchouli and the chocolate and the, the mystery and the dark throat. I think it's suitable for dates and for sex and for mystery and for all that sort of thing. But I personally used to wear it all the time. And interestingly, the reason why I love this so much is because after I finished my degree and uh, worked in industry and started my business, the first fragrance I bought and kept buying was Black Orchid. And the first holiday I bought, so I did years of studying, maybe 20 years of studying, I don't mean no, 20 years of studying, in 20 years I had no money at all, all my money was going into, back into developing fragrance, and the first holiday which I uh, had, I went to Grand Canary and I wore this continually, so I wore this in very hot weather, I loved it very, very much, and that is the thing I'd like to encourage you, if you love dark oriental fragrances, which personally I do love dark oriental fragrances, uh, I love my Onyx, I love Boss Bitch, which has now been discontinued because uh, it's just too personal for me to sell. All those sort of dark, heavy fragrances I personally wear all the time. And if that's what suits your skin type, and if that's what suits your personality, please wear it. Not everyone wants to wear citrus all the time. I certainly occasionally like a citrus fragrance, but I love very dark, heavy fragrances. Please break out of this uh, marketing shell. Wear what you love love what you wear. I just think this is so beautiful. I love the the sort of the uh, sort of the peach compounds give it a real lovely skin feel. It's just so beautiful this. I think it's so sexy. This to me I think is the height of what I consider excellent because it has so much memories attached to it. If you've never tried it, immediately go and try it and see if you love it. This is what I think Oriental Perfume done beautifully. It is just so exquisite and so beautiful. I hope you're staying safe and well. I'll see you soon for a fragrance review.